that explained everything about this. <laughs> what he just said explains everything that's wrong with his storytelling. I'm just going to show you guys a clip. Nick didn't know I was doing this. Nick hasn't seen this. Uh -uh. Just indulge me for 55 seconds. Right. See what Dave Filoni said 12 years ago. Hmm. You will notice on this box that there you is notice. a DC documentary Listen on the that. Mortis trilogy. Christian Taylor, who wrote the trilogy, and myself, we both firmly believe that we should really not answer directly a lot of the questions about Mortis. Was that really Qui-Gon Jinn that appeared to Obi-Wan in the cave or not? What does it mean that Ahsoka talks to her older self? Will she ever reach that age? Who was the father? What does it mean now that Anakin's the chosen one and that he has a better understanding of that? Ahsoka apparently died and she came back to life. Does that have any meaning? We have answers to those questions for sure. But if I answer directly what something is, I feel that I'll be robbing you of the purpose of that arc, which is to make you wonder. It's to make you challenge certain ideas, to ask questions. <laughs> Mystery box theater. I'm just going to leave you hanging and leave you guessing. Us, 12 years ago, he told us exactly who he is as a storyteller. That's exactly what he did. All these questions that we have, all the things that the experts, the experts that love the Disney Star Wars, that defend it, that, that wish death upon us, the people that are defending this stuff, they're saying, you know, it all makes sense to them. What's your problem? No, it doesn't. You can't explain half of what I saw in Ahsoka this season. And he just told you right there. He just said and, and I don't know if he has the answers either. He, he doesn't, doesn't he doesn't even know what he's doing. Like like Filoni is a hack. He is a hack. F Dave Filoni. F this Ahsoka show. <laughs> I, I'm I'm done. Wow, this, man. I'm done. I never knew he said all of that. I, I tell stories that I don't want you to know the answers to. Yeah. What's F the point of the story? Uh, I, I'm so done. I cannot wait to get into One Piece. I cannot wait to get into content that I actually enjoy instead of this hot trash garbage. I'm so sick and tired of it. Man. That explained everything about this. <laughs> what he just said explains everything that's wrong with his storytelling. It literally explains everything. He, he has sucks. no desire to tell a story. He just wants to throw stuff out there for you to wonder and guess about. You'll never know what the answers are. And we're just going to be sitting here wondering. And then what is that? Just generate a whole lot of people guessing and, oh, let's come up with theories and this and that. And it's like, but you'll never get answers to these right. things because Filoni doesn't want answers. And how much, how much did, how much did we see George Lucas do that? N uh, never. The, the, Never. The, 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 uh, the stuff about uh, Vader being Luke's father, that was kind of ended on that cliffhanger. Where we're, we're, but it all got re resolved. You know, it got resolved. Yes. But but yeah. holes were filled. Holes were filled. And but if you take just the the first Star Wars movie, I mean, it's a complete story. And even the second one, even though, you know, it's a continuation and that there's another part coming. I mean, it's, it's a it's a complete story in of itself as well. You know, there's oh, questions yeah. at the end because it's story. left so open ended. But yeah. uh, that's the one thing they left as a you know kind of unresolved. Like, well, what happens with Han and what's going on with Luke and Vader? That's kind of where they leave you at the end of Empire. But the rest of the story flowed. It made sense. You knew what was happening. It's just that at the very end, the tide turned on the heroes. Okay, like yeah. everything was going kind of in the heroes' direction. I mean, not really, but. At the end, you know, okay, now we get up to the moment of truth. You know, oh, Han, he ends up getting frozen. He's off to Jabba's palace. And then Luke, all right, man, how? what's going to happen with Luke? He loses his hand. He loses to Vader. They have to rescue him. And now, you know, he finds out that Vader is his father. And so that now, okay, now, wow, that, that really makes me intrigued. But what Dave Filoni is doing is nothing close to that. He's just leaving all kinds of open-ended threads for people to guess J. J. about. J.J. Abrams, mystery box J. J. Abrams, times a hundred. Times a so, hundred. So, so let, let's be clear here. I'm okay 
if a storyteller gives us one or two things, a couple of things right. where we have to wonder and ponder, and we might not have ever gotten an answer to, that's okay. That could be intriguing. There's no doubt about that. But to have an inordinate amount of things that are just nonsensical. Oh, so many. 